What up guys, so welcome back, we have a review, but real quick, some updates. Um, prelude, our collaboration with Flagship, um, our clay uh, pomade, we're gonna go ahead and guarantee some stock until I think about midnight of tonight, because basically we've been running on our last stretch of jars for the past few days, but we went ahead and give you guys a like, chance to kind of like purchase it if you want. And so midnight tonight is basically as far as we can guarantee it, after that, we're basically going to wrap it up and call it done. And so thank you everyone for the support. And then also we have new The Pomp t-shirts. Um, so I worked with uh, our, my designer that I worked with for uh, the base pomade. And so we kind of brought back the design, changed a few things, and really just decided, hey, let's go ahead and make it a shirt. Um, and the, yes, it's now available. Again, decided not to increase the price. I'm going to always keep it at $25, bucks, um, free shipping. Um, and... Yeah, so today we'll be looking at Tough and Tumble number three black, which is like a black clay pomade. In theory, it's pretty damn cool. I mean, for especially someone like me who wants like a neutral look and can't really obtain that with a non-black hair product, I now have a black clay product. And we'll go ahead and see like how it performs. This is still a water-based pomade, still lab cooked, and so we'll see how it performs in comparison to some of the other clays we've seen both from the lab and from the home brewers. And go ahead and start off by looking at the jar. So this is the jar right here. This is tough and tumble. Where is that label? See it's so hard because it's all black which looks really cool but just makes it a little hard for this video specifically. It's number three black. You got ingredients and other information on the bottom. Has a really nice industrial look once again. Everything is basically matte black, even the print. And you do have a nice stamp top again. Oh, wait, no, no, what, no, this is the first time you actually have a stamp top. So this is really nice. And then opening it up, you also see the product inside is black and the walls also are black. I would guess this is an anodized aluminum jar. I believe it's still four ounces. And you can't really see much, so we'll just go ahead and go start styling this thing. Wait, I just found it. The weight is exactly 3.3 ounces, so it's another 100 millimeter jar. Um, millimeter, milliliter. The cell of this pomade, I know, is officially supposed to be like a, a scented forest type of smell, but to me, it smells like halfway between like your standard uh, shampoo, more like Irish Spring, and baby powder. And so scooping it out, huh, so it has a texture similar to like a more jam-like uh, gel pomade. And we'll see that kind of later today and throughout the day whether or not it performs like a gel pomade or stays malleable. And with a clay, we obviously, I mean, on our end, we've always wanted one that stays malleable so we can kind of rework throughout the day. But I've already kind of grasped, rather, from a lot of the barbers I've met that, I mean, that's not their care because it's a different kind of story in, in, the, in that place where you style someone and then they go off throughout the whole day. You don't have to deal with that. And what you want is like some something that's gonna like style right away and keep right away immediately. So for that like kind of environment, a gel pomade or something that styles like very strongly and just like kind of hardens a bit is ideal. But of course we've always addressed the situation where you are the consumer, you are the user, you're the normal person who styles his own hair, his or her own hair, and what you care about is still how you look throughout the thing, how you look like when you leave the bathroom. But yeah, so anyways, back to the product. So it applies pretty easily. Um, there's a bit of grip to it. It has a clay, so there's that drying effect that happens, or not that drying, but the gripping effect that happens. Um, I also want to address this because it came up when I uh, released black pomade too with uh, Rustin which is like you see your hands stay black 
And no, it's not staining your hands. That's because you're not getting all the product off your hands. And it's very difficult to get all the products off your hands and into your hair. And if this was a light color pomade, you just wouldn't see the product. You would think your hands are clean, but they're actually not. And so the people who complained about this, I guess Murray's black beeswax or even like the rust in black, it's not because of the product. It's because you didn't do a good job washing your hands. That's just the reality of it. But we're just going with one more uh, quick small lick. I also forgot to mention that we've been doing like a bunch of small licks because with any other clay, less is better. And so you want to just go in small amounts at a time. And that should definitely be enough. All right. So go ahead and wash my hands now and then we'll start combing it up. So combing it through isn't hard at all, but you can definitely see the effect of this as a gel pomade. So I mean, based off the ingredients, you guess it is so, but once you start combing it through, you can kind of, you can tell the difference. But we'll see how it starts styling right now. All right, so this is about what we can get. And like, yes, it looks good. My main concern is how long it will last. And so I did have to add a little bit more product because with many other gel pomades and especially in this situation where I'm styling and reviewing and recording at the same time, I can't move at a quick pace and so I take longer with things. And with a gel pomade, especially one with clay in it, which that kind of sucks in the moisture, the product hardens up and if I style, I kind of flake it. It doesn't like physically start like flaking out and well, not physically but visually flake out but physically it does and that kind of takes away from the whole and takes away from my ability to control and style it. So I had to add a little bit more product to kind of reset it a bit give it a little bit extra hold but this is what we get and like though you do lose malleability because like it'll be difficult to style it into the day what you get in is a nice setting and a hardening effect and so you kind of rely on that to keep throughout the day. Now mix in with a clay, that gets risky, but we'll see how well it performs. So consistency, like a jam, actually really smooth. Application is really easy. Um, the shine or the madness, this is a nice neutral. And this is exactly what I was talking about before. Like by far the strongest characteristic so far is the finish you get. And especially with me and my black hair, what I get is like a really neutral and very natural finish. It doesn't look dead, doesn't look like mag. Cause even with a neutral product that is a light colored product, I still get that matte effect. And this is a really nice like finishing in terms of like the neutral a balance between shine and matte and the black color. Really good for black hair. Um, the hold is advertised as like super strong. I would say like it's a halfway between like Prelude and Baxter. So it's more towards like a medium. Like... Layrite cement and Prelude, um, both are water-based um, clays. I mean, completely different though. Layrite cement is still a gel pomade like this. So more comparable to Layrite cement, I guess. This is significantly less hold. It's a much lighter product. And at the same time, it's less like it's not as harsh on the hair because Layrite cement fucking just kills your hair. This one feels a lot lighter, but actually still has comparable hold. So like a medium with like a very, very lightweight. So nice, convenient. And texture, it, it does a, a good job with texture. It's all right, it's not bad. You get actually pretty good like coarse texture, which looks nice. And we'll see how well it survives throughout the whole day. So be back in a few hours and we'll talk then. All right, what up guys? So I'm gonna cut this a bit short. It's only been through about, I would say five, six hours between there of kind of just working throughout the whole day and so I want to cut this short before it gets like too crazy and like you see no resemblance of a pump at all. So if this is it, restyle with a little bit of water. This is for sure a gel pomade. It's like a medium hold but a really lightweight so you can get some pretty good hold out of it, a good amount of volume. But the thing is 
once it does get messed up and as a clay it will get messed up it's hard for kind of the restyling process because it's already set in it's already hardened the products are kind of just firm up and if you restyle with your hands you kind of puff it out which really takes away the holes at the same time it's really hard to run your fingers through without water and even so if you bring in water you can't really get that same volume but you do get a nice texturing effect that is very good at having its own like aesthetics it has its own appeal but still nevertheless like with a clay, one that advertises like really strong hold, what we really want is that volume to stay. So, yes, I want more volume than this. But honestly, the strongest point, and it's still kind of apparent here, is that like my hair doesn't look dead. It's not a harsh product compared to the other gel pomade clays. This thing is like much nicer to your hair. And also for me, being a black clay, like I get a really natural finish, which is like my favorite aspect of this product. It's something that like I. It kind of, I didn't think about this before and it brought a new concept to the table. Something that I'm actually really happy with. But yeah, that's, so that's really cool. But like overall, also washing it out, I mean it's a gel pomade, it washes out in one go. And so, it's like a convenient product, a clay pomade that's kind of like a gel pomade. There's like convenience, it's clean, it's also really dry, it's really like not bothersome. And also unlike other like clay gel pomades, it's not super harsh on your hair. It didn't dry the hell out of my hair and kill it like Layrite Cement does or JS uh, Sloan Caviar Clay does. And this thing's a much nicer one. But still, 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 like with clay pomades, what we do have on the market already allows for more optimal styling, more optimal performance. This one just has convenience and that black clay actually comes out pretty nice. Like this, also black collab, are good uses of that black of a hair product for people with darker or black hair and in comparison to other products like Imperial what was that black top like that one was just black it made no use it was no additional assistance there was no advantage to it being black so I have to commend for this product that like the blackness is a good choice and it does really help but yeah so that's what I think about like tough and tumble number three black if you guys are interested in it and you do have black hair you want to take advantage of it it's, it is something you need to try out and like like it's what i consider to be the coolest aspect of it we have a promo code of course the pop all caps you can use it for this product or any of the other products but other than that i hope you guys got something out of this review and i'll see you next weekend hopefully with another product peace